kala kushika doria ya baharini KSGS linasema kwamba uvuvi baharini bado ni changamoto kubwa kwa rasilimali za baharini maafisa hao wa KCGS ambao huzunguka katika bahari kuu wanasema kwamba pia makabiliano dhidi ya ulanguzi wa dawa za kulevya yamepungua wakiapa kuendelea kupigana na wanaoendesha biashara haramu baharini Kevin Mtai ana maelezo zaidi hii ni moja wapo wa doria wanazofanya maafisa wa shirika la KCGS baharini Hindi wakitumia meli hii ya MV Doria kuanzia bandari ya Mombasa hadi Shimoni kaunti ya Kwale shughuli hiyo inachukua takriban saa moja safari ya usiku kucha ili kuhakikisha usalama baharini last month we rescued one of the ships that was sinking uh, and our time to reach that ship only that minutes when we reached the ship and we were able to rescue them we have carried various operations for example operation Udibiti we have carried out various operations for instance monitoring control and surveillance operations tangu kubuniwa mwaka 2018 idara hii imekuwa katika mstari wa mbele kukabiliana na ulanguzi wa dawa za kulevya uvuvi haramu na hata biashara haramu ya kusafirisha silaha kuna asasi tofauti za kiusalama miongoni mwao kila mara wakitegemea ujasusi katika operation zao za kukabiliana na uhalifu we have had cases whereby uh, the ships that are doing uh, fishing out there they switch off their uh, out, uh, automatic identification system and therefore we are unable to to see how they are doing their fishing wanasema ushirikiano na idara ya jeshi la wanamaji wanafika hadi Rastamboni kwenye mpaka wa Kenya na Somalia eneo ambalo limekuwa na tishio kubwa la mashambulizi yanasababishwa na maharamia we are mandated even to arrest and prosecute whoever is doing illegal fishing and the rules will apply we also do training continuous training for our crew as you can see on the background we have some of our members even from the navy being trained mbali na kushika doria baharini wajibu wao pia ni kutoa usalama wa bandari zote humu nchini hadi kwa maziwa Kevin Mutai NTV Kire County Mombasa Sadakta Kevin Tusalie Mombasa ambapo uteuzi wa baraza la mawaziri katika gatuzi la Mombasa umekamilika. Maafisa hao kumi waliapishwa na kuanza kazi rasmi. Mombasa ni kaunti ya mwisho kutekeleza wajibu huu tangu kuchaguliwa kwa gavana Abdul Samad Sharif Nasir. Hii ilisababishwa na uchaguzi mdogo uliofanywa mwaka jana baada ya kutokea kwa hitilafu kwa karatasi za kupigia kura. Lakini sasa kuingia ofisini kwa mawaziri hao ni ishara kwamba sekta mbalimbali mbali za kaunti hiyo zitapokea huduma kikamilifu kabla ya wapisho huo gavana alilalamikia kuchelewa kwa miradi ya maendeleo kutokana na ukosefu wa maafisa hao wa ngazi za juu ndani ya serikali yake Mombasa itakuwa ni sehemu ambayo kila mmoja atahisi ni mwana Mombasa bila ya kusema ya kwa tofauti ya rangi bila ya kusema tofauti ya dini tofauti za kabila wala tabaka ofisi za serikali ya kaunti ziwe wazi kwa watu wote kando na mambo yote mengine 